this is tip number one how to create a date table and then sort columns this is the table which i've already created let us try to look at the code so that we'll understand this is the calendar table and i've used dates variable and i've used the calendar function and used min and max over my dates column in the fact table in the return i've used add columns function and uh, i've added the columns which are required in my case so you can pause the video and look at the code it's pretty simple code once you commit um, to this code a calendar table is created and if you want to sort columns for example month from jan to december by default power bi will sort it alphabetically but for in this case uh, for example you selected month column and using sort by column use the month number so that uh, the months are sorted from jan to december similarly month year if you select that and sort by month year number those will be sorted accordingly and same for day of the week name sort by weekday that way you have your columns sorted perfectly and let us try to go to tip number two we will try to create a relative date slicer using a date column this is the slicer where a date column is from the calendar table this is a table date and complaints so by using the slider up top you can make selections and you can make selections in this way too next we'll see how to convert this into a relative date slicer select that uh, slicer go to slicer settings and select relative date once i select that this is converted into a relative date slicer as you can see those are the options and you have your uh, selections days weeks months etc it's pretty handy in case if you want to look at last uh, one week or five weeks or last one month one year it's pretty handy it's pretty useful and it's pretty easy to create uh, a relative date slicer and you can use an anchor date based on your requirement let us try to um, make uh, selections here for example last one month let me change that into last six months i can see the data there straight away last six days so it's pretty handy and pretty useful and pretty easy to create relative date slicer and let us try to look at the tip number three how to turn on off auto date hierarchy for example in my fact table this is the date column as you can see it's it has a hierarchy year quarter month and day so if i drag that onto the canvas for example i have uh, those things showing up in my visual i can uh, disable that and i can select only the date here in case if i want to disable it globally i can click on bottom right gear icon and in this new window in the data load, load section look for time intelligence i can unselect that auto date hierarchy say uh, for example in future reports it will not automatically detect a hierarchy so click ok my selections are made so we have learned three tips